This instructional video from Flexi Hire will demonstrate how to correctly use a Dingo Mini Loader. Pre-start check. Before starting, ensure to check that fuel and hydraulic fluid are within acceptable levels and that the engine air filter is free of debris. The SOP and operation manual can be found inside the black document holder on the Dingo trailer. Take the time to read and fully understand the operation manual prior to using the mini loader. Ensure that correct safety equipment is being worn. Operating the machine. Before starting the engine, lower the engine speed lever to its lowest point. This controls how fast functions can be performed while the loader is running. Stand on the platform at the rear of the machine. This machine is a petrol model without a choke, so you simply turn the key to start the dingo. If starting the machine when cold, for a petrol unit, ensure the choke is pulled out and turn the key to start. Once the machine has started, push the choke back in. If the machine is a diesel mini loader, turn the key to the glow plug position and hold for five seconds, or if equipped, until the green light turns off. Then turn the key to start. Familiarise yourself with the controls of the machine before commencing works. The two centre levers control the drive wheels, the left lever controls the front and rear wheels on the left, and the right lever the same for the right. Push them both forward to move forward and pull them back to reverse. To turn left, push the right lever forward, and to turn right, push the left lever forward. To achieve a smoother curve, engage both levers, to spin the machine, push one lever forward and one lever backward at the same time. The lever to operate the four-in-one bucket is located here on this mini loader. However, depending on the make and model of the machine, the bucket controls may be slightly different. Be sure to consult the operator's manual on the machine for specifics for your machine. To the right of the drive controls is the attachment tilt controls. Push it forward to tilt the attachment forward and pull it towards you to raise the attachment. To the left of the drive controls is the lever that controls the loader arms. Pull the lever back to raise the arms and push the lever forward to lower the arms. In front of the arm control lever is the hydraulic auxiliary control. This allows for more tailored power distribution between the wheels and attachment for situations where one function is required more than the other. For example, when the loader is stationary and you are digging a trench, more power can be diverted from the drive wheels, which you don't need at that time, to the attachment to make digging through hard ground easier and faster. When finished using the mini loader, return the attachment to its resting position. Ensure the machine is on stable terrain and switch the engine off.